Louisiana Beer Review Special Edition Molson Golden Revisited. Uh, this was sent to me by Wayne in Pennsylvania. Thank you, Wayne. Uh, looks like, well, these dots, hard to tell. It looks like it has a really good date on it. Uh, specially brewed for the unique flavor of an ale and a lager, so it's a hybrid beer. Uh, ale slash lager, more like a cream ale type thing. Um, they don't have it listed on the Molson Coors Beverage Company website anymore, so um, may have been discontinued. This could be the last of it, but uh, I haven't sent an email to the company. This has never been sold in Louisiana. Brewed and packaged under the supervision of Molson Coors Canada by Molson Golden Colorado. Well, it's the same company now, 50-50 merger. The Coors family and the Molson family merge. So dual, dual uh, CEOs, I guess you'd say. Well, they might have a CEO, but dual uh, chairman of the, whatever the term is. All right, it's got kind of the short neck bottle like you see with the Molson Canadian. Nice little hiss, some smoke here. So uh, if you live in Canada, you're probably getting Toronto brewed Molson Golden. Here we get the American brewed, but then maybe we're not gonna see it anymore at all. I think the Molson Brador is gone. I never got to try that. That was a strong lager in Canada. Sold as malt liquor here. Jeff Lyons at New England Beer Review said he used to get the Molson Brador. But um, I think that's been gone. But then on the other hand, a lot of these companies do produce products that, and they don't list them on their website. They just put them out there and they're, they're not listed. You never find it. So it's a mystery. All right, it is golden on this cool morning. Slightly overcast morning. Not a very thick head, a medium white head and a golden clear appearance with bubble screams. Uh, actually, there is a lot of fine particulate matter throughout. It's like dust or powder, but it's a very clean glass. So it's only so much filtering you can do with these beers. So. All right, been years since I've had it. Uh, I have found it over the years on road trips, like to Florida and, and that kind of thing, but uh, never in Louisiana, never, never. We get Molson Canadian, and that's it, <laughs> if you can find that. Yeah, it's yeasty, bready, bread crusty. Um, Beer has that character, I guess, to me. Other people will say, no, no, not bread. But I don't know how else to describe it. You don't describe a product by saying, this beer smells like beer, because it doesn't adequately do it. I do the best I can, so let's go with the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Wayne. It's, it's similar to Genesee cream ale because you get that fruitiness, like the ale yeast fruitiness. I don't know about like an, I don't know about saying it's an apple, but something like that apple or pear, uh, it's indistinguishable fruit notes. No fruit added. Water, barley malt, corn, syrup probably yeast, hops, hop extract. Medium bodied, pretty crisp finish. Uh, you know, I didn't even look up the ABV or any of that because I thought it would be on the bottle. Usually they'll have it on the bottle, but it isn't, it is not. Hmm. I'll put that below. Um, if I remember right, it's like 4.8, probably like 145 calories. So that's my guess, 4.8, 145 calories, but uh, I know the Canadian's 5.0. We'll see, uh, 
Probably not far off. Nice looking bottle, no skunkiness. The green protects it to an extent. Um, a lot more than clear. So there it is. Uh, they're saying a unique flavor of an ale and lager. Well, it's unique. It is unique. So it's similar like to Genesee Cream Ale, not the same. Now the Little King's Cream Ale, that always had like a metallic flavor to me. Now Ballantine Ale, people say it's a lot like these, like lager-esque ales. Ballantine's the oldest beer brand in the United States, 1840. I know Yingling's the oldest company from the 1820s, but the oldest exact beer brand is Valentine, which I've certainly never seen in Louisiana. Closest I've seen it was um, New York City. <laughs> but we've we got Valentine IPA down here in 2014, Valentine IPA, which was exceptionally good. Did get some of their products okay anyway sweetness scale um two and a half out of five sugar cubes bitterness scale one out of five hop cones the bitterness level here is very low i've used if they 10 yeah it might be 10. does it have more flavor than your typical mass-produced american beer i think it has a little bit more flavor a little bit more character the price i don't know don't recall it being any more expensive or less expensive than just premium level beers. Um, there's another one they sell. I bought it in Rochester, New York called Old Vienna based on a Canadian brand. It is a Canadian brand, but they sell it. It's made in the U.S. for our market. It's called Old Vienna. Really nice product. Um, that, was, that was a little bit more standard. Though. This is a little bit non-standard. And it's a little bit non-standard. So... Yeah, nice product. Um, score, I'm gonna go with 9.3 out of 10, 93 out of 100. Probably one of, if I did a survey of the top 10 American mass-produced beers, this would be in the top 10. This, Schlitz. Um, the Molson Triple X, which may also be discontinued, that's 7.2. I think 7.5% strong beer. Uh, that's a really nice one. I'm talking about mainstream beers. Uh, of course, Michelob Lager. Let me see one more thing here. Yeah, premium beer. That's their uh, the legal disclosure there. Okay. Interestingly, unlike most Molson Coors beers, it's not listed as kosher certified. And someone asked me about that recently. Claude asked me, why do I mention that? I said, well, it's a feature of the beer, like the IBUs, the ABV, or if they say like gluten reduced, or some such thing. I figure they, they put that on the label, you may as well mention it. So, try to give as much information as I can. So, Laissez Les Bon Ton Relay, a great product. Although we're a little worried it might be discontinued, although in, in, the, in the case of Louisiana, it would mean nothing because we've never gotten it here, at least in my beer drinking lifetime. And I'm going to end this review by saying go to most uh, <laughs> Golden, Colorado and tour. You won't see this being produced or any of the off brands. What I mean is if you go on the most and the um, Coors tour in Golden, Colorado, you're going to see Coors, Coors Light, those things they're going to focus on. Thank you for watching this video production.